Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of eight young adult romance books. And today we are planning out our 2023 goals. If you are a returning subscriber, you know this is not how this normally looks. It doesn't look that uh, cluttered. I usually have like this little organizer thing here. It is not there today. So we're just going to like pretend none of that is here. I'll be honest, I'm going into this kind of blind. I don't know what I want to put for my 2023 goals. I've already gone over my 2022 goals, so I know what I planned for last year, but I don't know what I want to plan for this year. I feel like I'm going into 2023, like, I, I don't know. I, I, how is it the new year already, for one? And then, like, for two, I have, I, I, I have no concept of what this year is going to look like, and it's just, like, I don't know. So it's really hard to plan out something or like think that far in advance when you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. I know one of the goals is going to be to like, you know, post, post video, what? Publish books. <laughs> but otherwise, I don't know. Before we even start, y'all, um, this is a day designer planner. I always love day designer planners. This is their daily planner, so I will be able to plan out my day every day. Last year, I bought a weekly planner, and I utilized it a lot in the beginning of the year, and then I just kind of fell off the wagon, but I feel like for what phase of my life I'm going into, I will enjoy a daily planner again. So I got the daily one again. I've had it in the past. Also, this is just a stunning like print i am obsessed and i'll have day designer linked down below we should probably make a word for the year a eh? because it says this day designer belongs to sarah well, what should my word for the year be i thought i had a good idea of it but like as i'm thinking of it i don't think i like that word it was gonna be independent independence see that's why I'm, I'm just i just don't like it so we're not gonna do that anymore um what is a word that resonates with us i got it grow oh, oh. fudge i'm i'm gonna cry just thinking about it next year oh. <laughs> next year is gonna be the year of growth y'all my handwriting sucks. Oh, I should have. Let me show you how ugly this looks. <laughs> I do not have the cute, like, minimalist placement that people have. Like, this would be centered, and I should have. This looks terrible. <laughs> it's fine. It got me out of my tears. So, that's, that's nice of it. To, to, I don't know. That word for 2023? Grow. Cool. Cute. We're gonna move past before we cry again. So in this day designer planner, it doesn't have a spot for resolutions like my other one did. My other one had a spot in the very back for resolutions. And I looked and this one does not have that. They have these like, my goals, what is important to me, self-care, relationships, personal development. It has like a three month, six month, nine month, and 12 month like kind of goals you wanna set for where you are going to be at that time. I don't wanna do that because I struggle so hard to even just set goals anyway, like cause I have no concept of the future. It's so hard for me to grasp that I couldn't even begin to be like, oh yeah, in six months, I wanna be here. Like in nine months, I wanna be here. Like I don't even know how to plan for that. There is one page that I saw this, maybe is it after January? No, okay. There's this one page, it says birthdays, birthdays and other important dates. Um, it's coming after this like holidays column. I'm just going to use this as the resolutions page. So I'm just gonna cross that out and uh, write 2023 resolutions. I, it's very bizarre that they don't have a page for that. Okay, 2023 resolutions, got it. I will go over them with you guys so in 2023 I can reflect on this video and, you know, hopefully I'm in a better spot in 2023. Stress-wise, I'm very stressed. I have so much stress in my life right now. Mm. So one of the things I put in my 2022 resolutions was to double my income. I'm not going to do that because I made quite a lot of money this year. If you guys haven't watched that video, I talked about how I quadrupled my income, um, which still blows my mind. There, I, I'm not putting that as my goal to double that income because that is not going to happen. I 1000% know it's not going to happen. Instead, I want to say I'd like to match that income. Um, so we had like 
some pretty high months in the summertime, like I said. So that really contributed to how this year did. But I would love to be able to match that income because I think I think it's possible because if I if the number I'm consistently making, I think if I made it every month or close to every month next year, I'd be able to match my income. So I'm just going to put match my... And I'm just going to write down the number that I want to match. Publish three books. I have three books in my roster this year. So go on one writing retreat. I know that's not a lot. You'll see why. I only am saying one this year. You'll see later in a different video, but you'll, it'll, it'll all make sense. One. This time I am going to say, well, no, I'm going to say read 12 books. Last time I'm like, oh, I'll read two books a month. I don't have time. My time right now, or at least in the past, has just been crazy. So I haven't had time to read 12 books for pleasure. I've done a lot of client work and stuff, but 12 books for pleasure, that sounds good. I meant 25 the last. I didn't have time to read 25 books for pleasure, but I think I can do 12. I think if I do one book a month, I can do it. So we're going to do read. Look at me. I don't even know what I'm going to put on my resolutions list. We're already at number four. Read. I already have one. I thought, oh, two, three, three, three books that I need to read, you know, so far. So it'll work. Um, I want to build my savings account, um, and I'm going to have a specific number on here that I'm going to put, but I'm not going to share it just because it's, I feel like that's a little bit personal. So build savings. I'll tell you if I did make that or not. That should probably have been in the personal column. It's fine. Should I make social media goals? I don't really want to. Um... I made all of mine last year, but I don't think I want to set social media goals. I haven't been really growing on Instagram, really. My YouTube growth is slow and steady. I don't really want to set social media goals. I don't really feel like I care enough about them, like, growing follower-wise. I don't feel like I am that, like, oh, let's put this on our resolutions list, you know what I mean? So I don't think I'm going to put it on my list this year. Which I did last year, so it's a little bit weird that I'm not doing it, but, you know, I don't know what else to put. Oh, have a hundred pre-orders? That's always going to be on my list until I hit it. Resolutions are so hard, guys. Goals and resolutions are so hard. Establish a routine, and I'll be able to know at the end of the year if I did that or not. I don't know what to put. Should we put get a boyfriend on our list? <laughs> I do it every year <laughs> and I don't ever have one but it's kind of funny now. I feel like if you put it on eventually it'll eventually come true right? I'm gonna put get a boyfriend on my list. Oh let's just do it. Get a boyfriend. I don't know like even a personal goal for me I don't know what it would be. Other than get a boyfriend, obviously. Like I'm saying, like, I'm trying to think of my year, and it's just total blanks. You know, like, it's so empty in my head. Live stream more, I did want to do that. And I think I'll be able to tell at the end of the year if I did. You know what, let's put, be able to watch a K-drama without subtitles. I think if I have another year, by the end of the year, I could get really good if I dedicated myself to learning Korean more, like, better. Like, n not more better, more period better that was because I haven't been like as into it lately just because I've been so busy but I think if I have a established routine I can work learning Korean into that routine and then be able to by the end of the year get to my k-drama so watch k-drama without subtitles okay that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I want to put travel out of the country but I don't think that's gonna happen this year should we just put it anyway? Okay, go to NYC at Christmas. Um, I wish I remembered what I had in my last resolutions. I kind of want to make more friends this year. IRL and online. That's a weird one. I don't really know how to make friends. IRL. Does anybody know? I live in a kind of a small area. So I think I don't really know how to make friends in person. 
Can I like cheat and see what some of the things people online put for their resolutions? That's cheating, but like, is it though? Oh, get healthier. I did want to say that. Get healthier. My, st I'm stress eating is what it is. And we need to, we need to get back on track. <laughs> I feel like I'll be able to know this one by the end of the year as well. Like I'll be able to like reflect and be like, oh yeah, I did get healthier. Oh no, we got worse. <laughs> Good resolutions. 50 achievable resolutions. Let's see if any of these resonate with me. Build a better budget. That one's boring. Practice mindfulness. Cook something new each week. That's fun. That sounds like a lot of work though. Create a cleaning schedule you'll stick to. Drink less alcohol. Uh, make dinner easier. These are not fun. Learn to love vegetables. Prioritize annual health screenings. Become a plant owner? That's not for me. Okay, uh, that's not really what I wanted, but thank you for your uh, thoughts. Um, I feel like a lot of these though, so hang on, this one's work, one, two, three. Five of those are work. I don't even know what work-related ones would be. Oh, be consistent with my newsletter. <laughs> that's one task that I wish somebody could just do for me. The admin stuff, start a retirement fund. 16. Maybe we should do four more to get to 20. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to think of four more. So maybe we'll stop at 16. That's, I think that's it. I think that's all I got. I think that is good. I feel like, I don't know. Ah. Thank you guys so much for coming along and putting out my 2023 resolutions with me. I don't feel that good about them. I feel like they're good resolutions. I just feel like they're not like as cool as they could be. There's not a lot of work ones on here either, but then again, I just don't know what like resolutions I could put for writing. So we're just gonna stick with the 16 that we have. Um, if I think of anything, I will add them. I know I keep saying it at the end of every video. 2023, you guys, is gonna be so good. I keep saying that, if only to like convince myself. <laughs> but it's gonna be really good content-wise. So if you guys are really excited, or if you guys like me, Sarah Sutton, uh, stick around because we have some awesome fun content coming your way. It's a mix of lifestyle, mix of author stuff, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. And be really excited for this next chapter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of eight young adult romance books. And let me know down below what is one of your resolutions for 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!